Hello, my name is Ben, and I suffer from chronic worn planter bushings. Every year I spend endless hours chasing out worn, broken planter bushings. Fixing wallard holes and trying to make my row units work good. Calluses and busted knuckles from hours upon hours of wrenching. But I didn't want to just give up on this old girl. We'd just been through too many acres together just to send her to pasture. When I thought all planter bushings were lost, I found a solution. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Thanks for clicking your way back to the good old Southern IA. Got something pretty interesting that I wanted to share with you guys here today. But last night, it snowed. Uh, you can tell I have marked the row units that I could tell actually had a pretty good issue going on it. Look here, see how that top arm has wallered out. And so what we've done in the past, a lot of times, is just basically take the old worn bolt out of there, take the worn bushing out, and then basically you put a brand new bushing in there from the Kinsey part dealer and a new bolt and go along your way well it's still sloppy and it's not too long until it continues to get worse and worse and worse so i came across these guys on the internet called precision planting solutions and they come up with these kits essentially where you ream out your parallel arms and some mounting plates and things like that and then they've got their own set of hardened bushings here with a hex nut a hex jam nut they go into the inside of there and it's, it did a fantastic job yesterday. So I kind of wanted to share this with you guys because I, if you own a Kinsey planter with so many type of acres on it, and I know you guys are having the same problems that we're having, and I think this might be a fix. tear this apart go through the process with you guys because like i said i was impressed with how it kind of tightened up these road units and this has been a consistent problem for us and it took a little bit of time to figure out how to do it but hopefully after doing the first one we can get these done quicker <laughs> he, he didn't hold on to that too long. <laughs> he just got that tell them they're both getting off. <laughs> so after you take it off, you gotta ream these out. You have to get a reamer, they'll sell you a reamer if you need a reamer. We put the big reamer into the drill press here, use lots and lots of cutting oil, and then about two of us, three of us will work on this. Take it nice and slow. Ream, ream out these holes here to the bigger size and this reamer right here goes through the holes in the row unit itself in the plate you just gotta ream it out like so one is an inch and a sixteenth reamer now there is and i think it's 11 sixteenths yeah an 11 sixteenth reamer so we'll get the reaming this out you guys enjoy this process Supposed to stop it before you pull back out the reamer. There we go. So we're using two drills. This one's a 2564s. This one's a 316s. Right. And this here is like the guide for you gotta start a little pilot hole here so yesterday i was just drilling all the way through but i think i'm going to pull it back off and then free drill it because 
that works a little bit better. So that's all the reaming and drilling that you have to do for these row units. Now you start the reassembly process, which is putting in the, uh, the fittings and everything that they said, and then you can start to put it back onto the planter. I was wrong we still gotta do um i still gotta ream out the bro unit come on Okay, now we're done reaming. Before we get back to assembling this here, I gotta give away one of these fancy dancy stickers here. First one of the day is actually gonna go to Andrew because today is Andrew's four year wedding anniversary. Yeah. Four year wedding anniversary. Happy so, anniversary, dear. Uh, he, he, he'll, he'll give you a little love note here in a little bit, anyway. <laughs> but anyways, this sticker comes from the fire burning video. But the sticker from the CRP video goes to Charles Bernard, or it might be Bernard Charles, that's what his name is. He basically says it's a shamer that older farmers can't remember the time when they were younger farmers looking for land. That's not, I picked this video comment because it got the most likes, uh, but that's not really what I was trying to get at with the CRP burning video. I did say retiring farmers, but no retiring farmer got to retirement age as a farmer by being lazy. It, it, I was just trying to communicate the fact of, as a younger farmer, uh, we're in competition with the CRP rates in this area. Uh, and there was more good comments in this comments about how older farmers, uh, retiring age farmers are getting to retirement age. And younger farmers, they can really complement themselves if they work together. And that's one of the th reasons that I actually started this YouTube channel is to kind of maybe highlight some things that I do as a younger farmer and other younger farmers have to offer to the ag world that we're, uh, that we're, we do have some skill, I guess you could say. So thank you guys for commenting. You guys can win another one in this comment, in this video, send me an email and I'll send you your sticker. <laughs> I'll wear this proudly. <laughs> well, today is April 15th, and uh, I got married four years ago today. It's helpful to remember tax day is also the anniversary day. So, happy anniversary. <laughs> happy anniversary, honey. It don't get much more romantic than that, does it? No. <laughs> These bolts actually have like a collar on them here that uh, goes into the sides of the support and the box here. Uh, and then this whole bushing actually rides on the inside of that. And the tolerance is very nice and tight versus the factory ones. So this calls for 145 foot pounds of torque on these hex, nut, hex nuts. It sure be nice if they called for 145 hands pounds worth of torque, because I mean, having to take my shoe off every single time to torque these down to 145 pounds is kind of a pain, but we'll get her. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so hand, hand torque would be nice. Oh. Drop my nut. Here we go again. These call for 100 pounds worth of foot torque. We're just going to do the hand torque. I don't think they're too much different. There we go. 
Okay, so cost of these row units is, well, if you were to go to replace just the front arm on these, which we have obviously done before, I want to say that these are about $60 a piece or so, uh, give or take, And but the pusher units are different than the rear units here. The rear units, their parallel arms are a little bit different. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the parallel arms on the rear units are maybe a little bit cheaper. Unfortunately though, the pusher units on these planters go bad way quicker than the back units, the rear units, especially since we no-till the majority of our beans, which could be changing this year. Without the like the reamer and everything like that for these Kinseys, it's $105 or so a row. So compared to about, I, now don't quote me, someone can put it in the comment section below what the actual cost is, but about $60 a piece, so you're at $120 each for these new parallel arms. Plus then you need a bolt kit, and the bolt kit is, I think about $60 now, and they actually changed their bolts. They used to look like this one right here where they're just kind of like these pinch style nuts and then they wear into here. Those are the old style bolts. Let's see if I can find one that's got a new style bolt on it here. And then in the past few years, they've changed it to these newer style bolts that have this flange right here. Um, I don't know if that's helping or not. It, we also put washers here on the outside. We've done about everything to these row units to try and keep them in good shape. They just keep getting worn out, worn out, worn out, worn out. So what do you do? You go buy a new parallel arm, you go buy a new box, you go buy new everything, and then they still trash out pretty quick because if one part's worn at all, they just, they don't last. And so for this example here, this row unit right here was pretty well in real sloppy shape. And so uh, this has been completely redone here. And I would say that this row unit now is tighter than the one that I could if I was to replace this with all OEM parts. So that's why I'm making this video today is that I'm very impressed by this and I would highly doubt that this will wear out nearly as quick, which I'll check, you guys ask me about it and I'll remind me to tell you because it's a like a more surface area for things to wear on. The old ones, it just had a bushing. As soon as the bushing started to wear out, it'd wear into the parallel arm, wear into the box, wear into the support. <laughs> we pause now for a commercial break i think it's better than it came from the factory now so that's how that goes we'll uh do the bottom one and then i'll kind of lift the planer up in the air
But there we go, that one's done. We're gonna keep moving on down here. Uh, I, I bought three front ones and two back ones here, and this will be our third front one. So we targeted the really bad units, which on this planter is always the outside units, and then the one in the middle doesn't look too good either. So if you guys are interested in this stuff right here, I talked to these guys on the phone this morning. Seemed like a good father-son duo. I'll put their number here and then also the website and stuff down in the description. Um, if you guys have any questions, give them a call, but I'm impressed with this product. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with us again today, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, they make them for John Deere's and stuff too. But I don't know why you'd want to have a John Deere. Say bye, Andrew. Bye, everybody. It's kind of a smaller sticker, so I can put it somewhere. Yeah, yeah that works. Andrew, don't get the hole in my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> don't turn this way. <laughs> they even send a sticker with their kit here. And if you guys haven't been able to tell that I do like my bumper stickers, here's the sticker that I give away every single day. Um, this one's from Beaver Vineyards. She's got a YouTube channel. It's farm equipment. Don't like it, don't eat. That's pretty good. This one here is from the New York Farm Girls. I'm going to throw this one on the stick. This sticker here on the truck, too. If I can get it apart. Come on. I feel like that old people that, you know, they got <laughs> licked before they turn the page. Hold on. <laughs> You don't want to be doing that with the COVID. No, not too bad. There go. Then I've also got Brian's sticker down here. If you guys got a sticker you want to send me, uh, the little peel box is in the description below.